Barack Obama has just broken the law to take over America. Look at who he secretly met with behind Trump's back. Oh, 03 It has been a long standing custom in the history of American presidents that former and sitting presidents shall not focus on their differences but seek to unite in their mutual love for the country. Therefore, it shall come as no surprise that Obama, who is devoid of anything slightly resemblant to patriotism, is unable to find common grounds with President Trump. President Obama seems to be unable to relinquish the power that he once held as the President of the United States. Ever since he left office, he's been obsessed to take President Trump down by forming a shadow government. On multiple occasions, he has had his agents conspire to leak delicate information, block legislations and organize anti-government rallies throughout the country. In an effort to undermine the current legislative agenda, Obama even went as far as to reach, behind Trump's back, to key senators urging not to repeal Obamacare. This is a breach of conduct for former presidents, and from a legal point of view, borderline close to sedition. His actions have endangered not only this country but the whole world. Just in the last month sensitive information released by his aides have negatively impacted counter-terrorist efforts letting ISIS members escape under the radar. How misguided must the priorities of such a man be, to benefit terrorists for the sake of propaganda? It makes one sick to think this man was ever president. In his latest stunt, he has scaled up his index by secretly meeting with South Korean Moon Jae-in. This meeting was of special significance as it took place three days after Trump had met with South Korean leader and on the same week as the G20. Obama was received in South Korea with presidential honors and had an hour-long closed-door meeting where he discussed a strategy to deal with Trump. Similar meetings have taken place with Canada, France, and Germany in the last few weeks. On these talks, Obama sought to convince world leaders that Trump's agenda was not the main American agenda and asked world leaders to support him, until he could place Democrats back in place, most likely referring to a possible Michelle 2020. Conducting these secret meetings would make him guilty of federal crimes. First, he is effectively claiming to world leaders to represent the American agenda. Just the act of representing American unauthorized is grounds for a prison. Furthermore, he is asking these countries to pressure the American government. This actually would be a much more serious form of collusion than Trump was ever accused of. What is most scary is the amount of influence Obama holds within the Justice Department, as feels he can break law without repercussions. Going a step further, while he was in South Korea, Obama made a public statement and called United States presidency and agenda temporary. The fact that he feels confident enough to make this announcement without fearing prosecution by Jod just shows how deep his secret government runs. This is no accident. This man studied constitutional law, he knows he is breaking the law and he doesn't care. True to the evidence, and following the actions of Obama. The moment President Trump arrived the last G20 summit, the faced condemnation by his peers. The effects of the anti-Trump front orchestrated by Obama was visible evident last week in Germany. Ironically, this played perfectly into Trump's hands and put him in a strong position to push his American first policy. While Trump has managed to keep the upper hand in his secret battle with Obama, that does not mean the current situation can be tolerated. Had G. Bush presented a behavior slightly close to Obama's he would have been prosecuted already. It's high time that Obama either learns to step down or we make him step down. We had to stand his desecration of our country when he was commander-in-chief but that time is gone. All this time Trump has refrained from formally conducting a prosecution against Obama, even while completely aware of his crimes, for the sake and honor of the American office and what it holds. However, there are lines that shall not be crossed. We cannot allow this sort of subversive and treasonous conduct continue any longer.